Hello and welcome to Bonex Investment Group. Today we are going to talk about a fuse of the market maker method and price action. Basically, it is a combination of price action and market maker method. And those who would do everything that will be said in this video would definitely turn their trading tables around. I have received a lot of requests for this video via Instagram and uh, I've decided to put it up. But before we jump into the war video, be sure to check out our free signals telegram channel. The link is in the description below. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell icon so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Schema alert. Please do not fall for people that comes in comments with phone numbers or cryptocurrency deals. They usually come with testimonials from funny names like Mr. Brian's help me to achieve my profit and so forth. Please do not fall for those people. I do not put my phone number in the comment section and I do not contact anyone first and I do not um, use WhatsApp. The only way to get in touch with me is via the social media handles in the description box below. That is Instagram, Twitter, and Telegram. That is the only way that you can get in touch with me. And uh, the simplest way is to join the Telegram channel. And in that Telegram channel, that is where I share my contact details. Here's the strategy explanation. Before we go deeper, we need to understand that to be profitable in Forex, you need to be able to wait for the right moments that would be defined as your triggers. In this strategy, we will employ confluence of two factors that are derived from two trading styles. These factors involve levels from the market maker method and indecision zones from market structure which is a price action concept. By confluence, we mean confirmation with at least double reasons. So the basis of this strategy comes from the fact that the strongest point of reverse in the market is the point where there is coincidence of cycle completion and daily time support or resistance. Looking to take trades in these zones, will give you the greatest odds of success. So here's the definition. Time frames to be employed will be H1 and the daily time frame. The first step is to look for clear moving pairs where you see clear supports and resistance. I've seen so many traders marrying current pairs they force themselves on pairs that are not moving or pairs that are consolidating or where they can hardly see where, what they are trying to do. So the first step is to look for pairs where you see clear support and resistance. Uh, this will be on the daily time frame. So go on the daily time frame and look for the support and resistances. What are these? I'm sure some may be may not be aware uh, what we mean by support or resistance. These are also called indecision zones. So a support is where is a region where price seems to bounce whenever it is coming from the top side. What do we mean? We mean that price came here and bounced. This point now acts as a support region so coming back to that region and bouncing again will actually make this region a strong point of bounce or a strong point of support the inverse is true and that is what we call the resistance a resistance is a region whereby price bounce when it is coming from the downside like in this instance, this point becomes a resistance and bouncing again at that point will only make this point a very strong resistance region. 
So mark up the zones on the support and resistances. I will show you this on the chart so that you understand what I mean. Then after that, you need to go to the H1 time frame. Look for the previous peak, which you will make the starting point to count levels. Then count levels as days of drop or days of dry rise. If you do not understand this, I would encourage you to go back in our video library here on YouTube. Look for a video of how to draw levels and understand this concept so that you will be able to use this strategy. So go on the H1 time frame, look for the previous peak which you make uh, which you will make the starting point, count levels as days of drop or days of rise. So the perfect point of entry is when three levels ends or finishes in the daily resistance or support zones you have drawn. What do you mean? We said the first thing, let me create a dummy, a dummy chart where I can illustrate what I mean. Right? This is the daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, we are going to draw the support. We had the first touch here, we had another touch here, another touch another touch then we have this part this is the part that we are now interested in in analysis then since we have uh, seen this support zone we are now going to h1 let's take for instance that we are going to analyze this part on h1 and on H1, it looks like, for instance, this support zone is here. Then on H1, we had 1, we had 2, and this point on H1 is the same as this point. So we are now waiting for the third level and coinciding with the daily support zone. So, this is the condition that we are looking for. A condition where we have uh, three levels finishing in the daily support or daily resistance zone. This is the exact condition that we will be looking for. So, in summary, the conditions to look for will be the daily support or resistance zone and three levels finishing in the zone you will only take trades when these conditions are have been met this is because sometimes we'll have a daily support but we we'll have two levels that will come in that daily support zone and two levels will have a greater probability of breaking that daily support zone right welcome this is uh, our chat which is uh, GBP or Great British Pound against uh, New Zealand dollar. I am going to illustrate all the concepts that we have discussed in the in the slides. So the first thing that we have said is to go on the daily time frame, and this is the daily time frame. As you can see on the daily time frame, marking all the support and resistances that are necessary. To our price we'll get this one we had the first one this was the first support zone and it was actually a stronger support zone with one two three touches and basically four touches in a row uh, I would deem this as a three hits to the low in the in the market maker context so after this we have to 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 mark out we now have to mark out the region because a line only a line 
is not enough. So a region, I'll mark out the lowest close of the previous candlestick to the end of the week, like that. Well, this is the, 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 the support, the support zone. And it is actually the first step to, to, to do, right? Removing this line is no longer of use. We now go to H1 time frame, right? So when we were still on the daily time frame, I'm sure you have seen that we drew, we drew this support region using this point and this point using this point and this point since we want to show this in hindsight we would assume that price had not reached this point what i want to show here is a confluence of market maker method and a price section so the first thing is to draw a support or resistance on a pair where you see it very clear after that you go to h1 time frame right on h1 time frame we can actually see that this was the previous peak as you can see it was the previous peak the first thing that we need is to have in this scenario we are anticipating to have three levels that will finish in this zone to have a very accurate entry point. So as you can see, we had the, a drop, but after that drop, we had this consolidation that lasted for several days. Therefore, the drop that we will count is this day of drop, making it level one consolidation then after that we had this day of drop someone may be saying i can see this because it's in hindsight yes of course but as i said that we will only validate reversal when we are now in the daily support or daily resistance because someone would say this was a level yes and this was consolidation this was another level yes and this was consolidation this was another level so i had to enter here but no was this coinciding with the daily support no therefore we were going to skip this but with time we managed to see that it was actually consolidation all over from this point and this point therefore we had level one level two and lastly we had level three that actually coincided with our zone so at this point that is a point where we were interested to see a candlestick reversal pattern among the many reversal patterns that we know and we were issued this three candlestick reversal pattern that we could enter our trade at this point however the market decided to come back and retest this region. And uh, definitely, we anticipate that GBP against NZD is going to fly high from this point because it is a very critical zone, a very strong critical zone. And uh, in my free Telegram channel, I've actually issued this as a signal to all the members of that family. Then let's have another example. We we'll use euro against dollar. The first thing that we've said is to go on the on the daily time frame. And here we can actually see that we had multiple bounces in the same region. But which one is the most closer to the region that we are interested in? We had this one, one touch. Actually, it had one, two touches. So this one is the closest one, and that is what we are going to be using. And we had another one here. Therefore, 
these are because we had a bounce here a bounce there this acting as a, as a resistance this acting as a support so drawing our regions as i explained earlier that we draw from close from from the opening of the body to the end of the week of the daily time frame then here from opening here therefore we no longer need this right this is what we now have we are now going to h1 time frame as you as you can see we drew this using this part it, let's go to, to daily time frame and actually extend this was our resistance zone then going to h1 time frame we actually used this part on the daily time frame and this was now our previous peak but this previous peak was not in the in the in the support or daily indecision zone so we're now going to we're now going to mark levels we had the first level from this point to that point we had the second level this was a small consolidation this point to that point then a small consolidation that gave us the last level and this last level actually coincided with the daily resistance making this a very strong uh, region of reversal and entering this trade was definitely going to give us a beautiful profit then as i said this was two levels that did not come uh this was two levels and it's out of our conditions so there was no trade here this became our previous peak therefore it became our starting point we actually started counting levels again one to coincide with the already defined uh, resistance or support then two then we had the last level which is three therefore having these we had three levels therefore this was another strong point of of reversal so what are we now expecting we have this point and we have this point if we have a case where we have one two and three if this case is issued we will anticipate another reversal and this will be a consolidation phase on the daily time frame but on the smaller time frame we will be taking them peeps so this is exactly what you should be doing you need to go on the daily time frame mark up this uh, the support and resistances of uh, the daily time frame go to h1 look for levels that will finish in those zones it will be a very 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 strong point of reversal so please share with someone this video it will definitely help a lot of people i incorporate this strategy in one of my 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 bag of strategies and uh, it has really paid me well and uh, trying it on your account will definitely pay you well you can first try it on your demo account to see if um you you you, you
it is okay with you i have given a lot of strategies on this channel the 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 reason not for you to trade with all of them but at least to find the one that is suitable for you and uh, the one that you are comfortable with uh, in, in your trading so basically that is all you will be doing as i always say in all my videos discipline and consistency are the most fundamental tools that you have at your disposal without discipline you will never be consistent and without consistency you will never achieve the goal i'll be giving my first masterclass on 4 january 2021 to 15 january 2021 in this, I will get down to teach the whole market maker method folio and some concept that I will not share here on YouTube. Enrollment is started. Check out our Telegram for more information. In conclusion, follow your plan without deviation, distracting thoughts, or hesitation to act. On that note, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And check out our free signals telegram channel this is the link in red